Hello everyone and welcome to the Konitz mod for Napoleon Total War. This mod is and further advancement on his previous mod for Empire Total War and it aims to bring the most realistic battle mechanic as possible with this engine. This is a multiplayer battle between me and the creator of this mod, Konitz. And it was a very interesting battle. Here you can see my troops moving into position. My strategy for what I aim to do with in this game was to have a strong brigade to hold Konitz's troops here around this area and send a flanking brigade to try and cut him off from retreats. You can see Konitz's troops trying to advance from across the river. Mm, this mod is a, remember it's a 4 to 1 scale mod so this is quite a long distance so I couldn't just charge straight at them when they were crossing the river. Well I couldn't because of the distance and also because the units now lose cohesion here represented by tiredness while walking. So you have to stop your troops constantly to redress their ranks and regain cohesion. Anyway, you can see troops are moving into position. And soon you'll see my original plan backfiring. <laughs> Not backfiring, but Connets' bold move made it impossible for me to apply the plan as I intended. Anyway, a bit about my army. I have 10 battalions of infantry, two of which are converts grenadiers. I have two batteries of artillery, which I'm keeping here. I was trying for a while to find a good firing position around here, maybe, but it's almost impossible to have a good firing position in this in this area of the map because you have trees and hills on the way, so I couldn't really see them. So that relegated my artillery to a both my batteries to a supporting position where they will advance with the infantry and try to wreck some close range chaos. Anyway, I have uh, four squadrons of attack cavalry, three of cuirassiers and one of dragoons, one of light cavalry. You can see I'm keeping my a strong reserve of cavalry here, able to support both sides. Of my, of my troops, both brigades, and serving as a link between the brigades. And I have an extra squadron here. Ah, now I see Konitz's Dragoon starting to appear. This is where I noticed them, so I had to hold my cavalry and think about what to do next. In a panic for a bit, like, you know, having two squadrons of cavalry in its here the main difference between this mod and Empire Total War is that in this mod cavalry units represent two squadrons instead of one uh, and having cavalry appear on your back is never nice which means I've advanced a bit too harshly and too quickly anyway I had to order my cavalry to counter their attacking cavalry, which is already exhausted, which is good because my cavalry is just tired. And yeah, the chase began. All my other troops redeployed. <sighs> So at this point I decided to send two squadrons of Gracias after his cavalry. I just can't afford to have cavalry rummaging about in my backyard. While well, I tried to keep two squadrons in support of my my infantry. As they were intended. Ah, in this, with this cavalry squadron, an interesting thing, well at least I find it interesting, happens is that you can 
the force you bring is actually a full army division. You have two infantry brigades with a cavalry brigade in support and supporting artillery. We are just a bit undergunned at the moment because we can't represent the full amount of guns we need for these kind of troops. We need some extra, according to my math, making an average of three cannons per a thousand soldiers, which was normal, I think, in this period. Ah. Sorry to interrupt that line of thought here, the remainder of Kunitz's cavalry appears, forcing me to withdraw these dragoons, not to get too excited, so as not to, you know, be bludgeoned, and I brought my cavalry. I actually didn't notice during the battle that these were two squadrons of dragoons, two, four squadrons of dragoons, and two squadrons of graciers, I thought he had more graciers. If I had figured they had some dragoons, I probably wouldn't have moved all my cavalry. Because Gracias are much better than dragoons. But we played with the rule of having three Gracias tops. So it's like you have a Gracia regiment, and then you can bring all the supporting cavalry. Anyway, cavalry is arriving, very tired. And this squadron is... Uh, I also brought a battery of artillery to try and shred his cavalry. To support my cavalry to make sure that I win and don't lose a lot of cavalry. Anyway... Now... Ah! This is my first attack on... On these grenzes which was kind of bludgeoned. I thought that having this ridge over here and well their troops fire wouldn't be too effective but Jesus they lost almost half their strength they just had too many infantry, unit, infantry battalions nearby and it was too close so their fire was very destructive but I rotted his light infantry give me giving me an edge in range because I have mine here with playing without flags is amazing because battles get really confused you never know how many units you are seeing and if just you are just seeing those because well they are just those or if they are mere in the back you'll see later why this is important well, anyway I keep advancing with my cavalry Connors is trying to withdraw the, 